Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. That's a conversation we have uh, off air, but yeah, that's how I look at it. And I, I will say one thing about it, because it, it hopefully it help people. Everybody, welcome to the Portaway Podcast. Daddy duty today, it is what it is. And uh, Ant with two T's. Yeah. And we got Teofimo Lopez. What's up? In the studio. How we yeah. doing? It's different when you in the studio. <laughs> And so I, when I sent you a text message, I was like, I hope this boy ain't getting on the plane. Everybody I've been talking, everybody been been flying out. Not that I was trying to put anybody on the show before you, but I was like, man, I hope this dude ain't getting on the plane because I know everybody, this is what we do. Yeah. We fight, we go home the next day. And when you said you was coming through, I said, you better show up. Yeah, I didn't say that to you. No, but- <laughs> I was like, you better show up. And so, you know, when I seen you in here, I contained all of my excitement for now. But you in the studio, big dog. Yeah, we here. You made it here before before Sean. (laughs) Say what? He was here before you. What does that mean? Uh, (laughs) He's a... He's on time. He's professional. Okay, he's a professional. Oh, oh, he made it here before yeah, me. Yeah, he's a professional. Oh, no, no, no. Because they were sleeping in the car. I was <laughs> no, trying no, to no, figure no. out, like, it's, and there's people outside. You, I'm not going to say what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say it. I know you're going to. We all got kids. Don't say it. No, no. <laughs> but I was like, man, maybe I could walk here real quick. <laughs> you didn't do that. You I didn't do that. No. So I stood outside. Yeah, you, stand, you was right next to the car. Yeah. Contemplate, <laughs> thinking about this. You called me, said, Anthony, what should I do? I said, bring the kids in. That's what you did. And here they are. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, man, welcome to the Portaway Podcast officially. Yes. Hey, what? T.O., let me ask you something. I see the, uh, the Mickey no, hat. No, no, no. How many yes, times have you been to, uh, to Disneyland? Uh, Disneyland, I've only with been. With the kid, with the kid. You, the my kid. son, uh, only once. See, I feel like. And then Disney World, I took oh. him. He went to uh, Epcot. We okay. took him all across all the four kingdoms. Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. Okay. Yeah. So Did it big. The whole and the Magic Kingdom, yeah. See, me and Sean, we have an agreement that we feel like it's it's too early to be it's taking them. Some, taking some, them. I've, I've been same age. On what, the, four times? Go to Epcot. I promise you. Every spot. Even though they're young, uh-huh. you get drunk, you'll be fine. I, we, we don't drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the? That wasn't even about the kid. With the cat that wasn't even about the kid. He skipped the kid part. I said, Nah, I'm just here. That's an you know excuse. I'm just, nah. Okay. He's two years old, you know, and at the same time, now that he's at that age, I think now I really want to oh. take him more in those mm-hmm. amusement parks and stuff. You know, like I want him because he's more active now. Yeah. They see more. Obviously, you know best, and and, then, and you got a two year old, so yeah. it's like it's I was awesome. gonna say, like I want to make. I want to get through like last night and the week and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I really want to kind of dive into you on the, on the second half of this. We got Naeem Lynn coming on to the show as well. Ooh. Just to talk about yesterday, he thought Boo Boo was going to win. Yeah. Um, well, he got a bet. He paid my money and everything. I, I've been knowing Boo Boo for so long. I'm sure y'all know that by now. But even yeah. with all that, it was just, I see it so hard. And so this is what I started saying about that. I find it, it's so hard to see Benavidez losing to just about anybody mm-hmm. in the world. And so it's one of those things when like, when you ask me who you got in this fight, <sighs> like I want my boy to win, but at the same time, I can't see him losing. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just some fights you're just going to have to see and yeah. see the outcome in order for you to you know be able to realize what you can't see for yourself, you know? So it's a I lot. really- It's a lot, you know, uh, Benavidez is not someone that's to take light. You know, he comes forward, he keeps coming in. You gotta remember this kid's coming down from like three hundred plus pounds. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> chill out. Oh. It's real. I no, know, but I'm like, that's a long time ago, but yeah. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah, but regardless of the fact is, is that that body and everything, it still reminds that same, yeah. same situation. The body shots that that um Boo Boo was trying to do uh-huh. wasn't working. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That wasn't really helping it so yeah. much. Uh they weren't as effective and he he was like, Okay, that's all you had? Gave yeah. him the confidence to push yeah. forward. Do you feel like he pressed too early? I thought it'd be Boo-boo. more patient. Yeah. Boo-boo. Cause it's like he got I remember I was like, oh my God, he up 2-0. He and then I was like, the- it's 2 1. Yeah. But then it was like, like Tio said, it was like, oh, that's all you got? Yeah. yeah. It's a- he, he clearly won the first round. It, and I second. thought and I thought even in the first round, I thought that at the end of that round, he let off a couple of combinations. Yeah. And it was like, you won the round. No need. But when you have experience, you can gauge yourself in in the way that round has gone. Okay, and you know, like I touched you more than you than than, than you touched me. Mm-hmm. If they don't give me the the round, it's something wrong with them. You okay. know, and we'll answer that later. It was that first round. I felt like he should have just let the round let the round end. 
And yeah. at the end of that round, he he got Benavidez on the ropes. Yeah. My but the point of that is when he gave all that to Benavidez, that don't do nothing but put fuel to the fire. Yeah. And it allow him to touch and taste what's there and what's not there. It'd be different if he had hauled off with a couple of hard ones. And really rocked it. And Benavidez would have said, okay, you came to fight tonight. You know what I mean? But at the end, but a couple of this, you laugh at that. You know what I mean? You know how it is. When somebody rip off a fast one, you like, all right, they ain't had nothing on it, so I'm coming to get you next round. You know? It's called weathering the storm. Yeah. You know, that's really what it is. Yeah. I remember my father told me in the second round with Taylor, he's like, he's gonna come in, he's gonna throw a lot. Just weather that storm. Mm-hmm. Let him do it. Mm-hmm. He put me in the corner, he started throwing a whole bunch of combos, people chanting, screaming, but I'm like, it's nothing. It's a part of it. Yeah. It's part of it. It's a part of it. It's yeah. part of like the nerves. It's part of the whole yeah. excitement. The whole, the whole. I guess um, you know it best. You've done yeah. it way longer than I have. Yeah. But it's that part of like, I gotta get this. I gotta get this going. I, I didn't think movement. that. I thought. I think that they had Charlo winning that fight like nine one or something yeah, like yeah. that. Eight he did good. Nine one. Yeah. I didn't oh, have yeah. him winning the fight nine one. You didn't. No, that's too. that's too long. But 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 also when when Benavidez was letting off them them combinations and you hear the crowd, it's like. Okay, cool, but a lot of that didn't touch him, yeah. and a lot of that was really ineffective. You know, it just yeah. looks good and could sway the judges, but I still, you know, it's it's a weather in the storm, you know? And at the same time, it's almost as like David would do. David needs a body and to do his combinations of flurries. We mm-hmm. didn't really see that this time because mm-hmm. why? Boo Boo wasn't really there all the time. Mm-hmm. He was moving a lot, moving yeah. a lot. But then we got to see a different side of Benavides that yeah. I think we actually wanted to know. Yeah. Uh, he showed definitely a lot of grit last night and his IQ. Yeah. Yeah, his IQ was really good. He yeah. he yeah. smiled at the when when Boo Boo was hitting him with good clean shots. Yeah. That's kind of like scary at the same time, you know, <laughs> especially with a Mexican. You <laughs> you know, it's scary at the same time. Yeah. But I, I it was hard for me to see that though with Boo Boo cuz I've known Boo Boo when since I was like 9, 10 years old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and just to see that part, you know, he has all the skills and everything, but I think it was just the overtraining. Because after the third round, I seen him take a big whiff. You seen like, that, huh? <sighs> yeah, yeah, And then yeah. he finally sat down. And I was like, oh, hold up. And hold with up. Benavides, you can't gas that early. Like, I expected him to gas around the fifth, sixth, seventh, mm-hmm. not third, fourth, bro. With this dude, if you show him one ounce of weakness, he's coming. Well, I think this also plays the same role if you fall back into last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week when we had Shakur on the F1 yes. Formula uh, weekend. Shakur, he said that the training, you know, mm-hmm. he probably did too much training for that fight that caused them injuries. So a lot of these fighters kind of don't understand. It's like, yeah, you got to put in the work, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you got to put in the miles. Mm-hmm. You got to put in the conditioning, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you also got to listen to your body. For How, us. For yeah. us. I was going to say, like for, 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 my, for myself, my, my, my team, yeah. we always kind of smiled at whoever we were fighting because we knew that they had to do so much more to get ready for us. They, they We knew that they had to be ready for the gas to go all night. We knew they was going to have to be ready for the movement as mm-hmm. well as the pressure. And so we just always thought, we're going to train how we always train. But to the point of this fight, Boo Boo then amped it up because yeah. of what he's getting in the ring with. You know what I mean? So And at the same time, it was his funeral. Think about it. For his career, it was his funeral. Not a lot of, mo- not, not a lot of movement going on with him. Uh-huh. They're not oh, yeah. pushing him. Oh, yeah. They're not yeah. holding him yeah. like where he is. Yeah, yeah. he should be. Yeah. He should have had this opportunity years ago. I told my dad that. Yeah. Years ago, he should have had yeah. this opportunity. He had the credentials for it. He had the Olympian yeah. status for yeah. it. He yeah. is that. Yeah. Yeah. So what the, what that really was, as bad as it could be, yeah. it was that. It was like the end. It was. Yeah. I had two funerals, but I didn't show up to them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's good. I, I never, never heard that Loma, word. Loma, Loma, Loma you had? I never had no funeral. Loma right? and Josh Taylor I'm was my funerals. Ah, I see. I do. See what I mean? Yeah, see from that perspective. Yeah. From that perspective, that's your funeral. That's supposed yeah. to be the end, the ca- close the casket, everything. I got I got to hear your take on Matias, but before we get to Matias, let's do real quick. Let's do Hector um, Garcia and Lamont Roach. Roach. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Right. 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 Hey, I'm giving up to Lamont, man. Yeah, for real. Man. Lamont, man. It's good though. He coming back. I know that Jamel and Jamel Herring was talking about them going back and forth at it. Uh-huh. I think that'll be a good mix up. Uh, it's good to see him back on on his ones and twos again. Uh, getting him back on the, the wheel, I would say. Yeah. And uh, overall, though, I mean, like that just shows like um, it shows like not quitting. Yeah. You know, you just don't give up despite how many Life. obstacles come through. Mm-hmm. You know, because this guy was they're trying to bury him. Yeah, I know. You I know? know, you know best and. 
It's like this that. the last was um, that his funeral last night? I, no, 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 because nah. this is the last time we talk about death on this show. No, nah, I like right. that. I like we, that. We're not doing that no more. We ain't gonna keep talking. Nah, that about was it. I, we kind of <laughs> let it go, Sean. I was like, all right, maybe Sean gonna say something about it. When <laughs> hey, the funeral just put me off at first. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't doing that no more. All right, cool. What you think about Lamont? Uh, Lamont, I was very impressed. I, I uh, Lamont, I don't know if I was more impressed with Lamont or not impressed right, with right, right, Hector right, Garcia. Like, look, yeah, it's just like. Is this still a tank effect? Like yeah. before, before tank when Chris Colbert? Yeah, is it Chris Colbert? He yeah, fought? yeah, yeah. He looked amazing. Yeah. Was busy last night. Wasn't busy. Mm -hmm. And maybe credit to Lamont because Lamont came to fight. Yeah, and wanted the title. Yeah, like you said, I was his. I think he was on a five fight winning streak. Yep, yep, since yep, yep. Jamal Harrington. Yep. So I give all credit to him. He showed up and he passed the test last uh -huh. night. It's not my. If you didn't show up, that's not my problem. Yeah, exactly. I'm bringing my best to the ring every time I step in the ring. Did you have a full house last night? Uh, no, no, no. Two, uh, two or three people. Oh, that's, we, oh you ain't yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. I was chilling, chilling, chilling. I ain't mad at no, you. No, 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 I was chilling. Oh, I ain't even invite you because I thought you you would be. Oh, she remember like, she she invite she offered me tickets, but I had family. You got, <laughs> oh, okay. you, sometimes you got to pass stuff up for family. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> last night. We're aunt with two T's. I know, at. I know. <laughs> family. We're aunt with family two T's. Family come at. first, man. It's a lot, <laughs> lot of events you want to be at, yeah. but yeah, man. I know. I well, appreciate everybody. With, well, the reason why I asked is because a lot of times, and I had somebody approach me yesterday. Shout out to TC from Nebraska. He was saying you guys need to get a fan's perspective more. More, he said. Well, I, I want to see a fan come on the show and ask questions and things okay. like that because that's like somebody who's like really raw yeah. to the game, opposed to us who've okay. been doing this for so long. Yeah. And said he complimented you. He said, "Oh, Ant know his stuff now." He's yeah. like, "I really can't really." He said, "When I'm listening to Ant, he sounds like an analyst now." It's like, oh, yeah, it's like, he, a, yeah, he, like he done X you out. Like you ain't just a <laughs> civilian no more. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, I wanted to hear what the what the room had to say about Lamont. So, so Lamont is he he DC, you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of a lot of everything, and on top of that, you know what I mean? It seemed like he got his head on him right now, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think he just had an, a a little moment, a couple moments at, at one point in his career. But you know, again, when you're on the fire win streak, and this is a 50-50 fight. Um, I truly think we've seen now who Hector Garcia is. Mm. So, I, what you think? I don't think there's no coming back from where he's where well, he's at now. The thing is, that there's only a few fighters that are that have that potential to come back from a loss. Yeah, not everybody can. Yeah, and the, and and also on top of that, how they lose. So you know, there's a lot of great fighters out there that have talent, that have that, but it's yeah. the mental part. Yeah, when you lose, people just can't sometimes get back up from it. Yeah, yeah. And you got to keep fighting. Yeah. So guys like him, like Lamont, he yeah. showed that last night. Yeah. So that's things that you really do need. Uh, boxing, that's why I love boxing, though. Mm -hmm. It's a one-man sport. Yeah. If you think about it, yeah. it's just one and one. That's why one I got it. it. Yeah. That's it. And ultimately, that's why I ended up picking this over football, because it yeah. was one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. And I told my dad, I said, well, I know what you're going to do, and you know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I can't go to college and rely on 10 other guys to do their job, you know what I mean? I used so, to watch a, when I was like a bit younger. I used to watch, and you was at Wild Card. Yeah, and they had did a video interview of you, and you was talking how you transitioned from football oh, yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty awesome. And, and then became the, a two time world champion. I was gonna say like that. I did both my whole life. It's, it's just awesome. when you want, you, I had I loved football. You know yeah. what I mean? I didn't. I haven't really ever found true love for boxing. But when it came time to choose which one I wanted to do, it was like, yo, I, I, I know I've had so much success over the years. I know that I and my dad can go on and do what we got to do. But the team thing is, it's and when you when I talk to any NBA player, NFL player, that's what they love most about boxing. Oh, that yeah. is one on one. It's one on one. It's never you, know, you don't rely on the next. So, yeah, yeah. When you have a whole team, man, yeah. it's like it, it all it takes is one of the other. Yeah. Yeah. Not even you. And so I, I want to go. Oh, uh, well, we got next fight, but I'm gonna ask you guys. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next fight, and then I'll get to it. We got Matias and, and yeah. Ergashev. What's his? How you say his name? Er Ergashev. Did I hit it right? Er Ergashev. Oh, the shed. Hey, shed. Uh, shed. Uh, fight. Shed. That was a good fight. I was about to say fight at night, but it, there was some good fights. But yeah. hey, that was my man came out throwing. I said, oh, "This dude trying to stop him? I, 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 trying to stop him?" I gotta answer the tweet that I put out. I gotta answer. Okay. The tweet okay. What you say? Out. So here's the thing. Uh oh. I'm doing Pro Box TV. Shout out to Pro Box TV. <laughs> and they asked top three in the 140 division. Oh, you said, uh, who was it, Regis? I got Regis. Regis is my number one. <laughs> You're my number two. And Devin is my number three. 
Regis. All right, cool. Listen. I'll tell you, you talking about me, hey. Man. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna like that. <laughs> Listen. All right, cool. All right, cool. Regis has been there the longest. And okay. he and he's been my dark horse. Okay, okay. Well before he was 140. Okay. He's been my dark horse. And so it does. Like there's a little bias okay. there. I, I you, you he's gonna be the dark horse until he gets beat. And then we'll talk about well, it. Well, he did get beat. By Josh Taylor. Well, no, and then no, I no. beat Taylor. Was that yeah? But that was that was at one thirty five, right? Forty. That was at one forty. Yeah, for the no, WBSS, World's Boxing Super Series. He's come, he's come some way since then. Well, and then not only that, in two thousand eighteen, I actually fought on Regis undercard. I was a co-main. He was the main event, and that was at New Orleans, in his hometown. He he main evented you, yeah. so that yeah. that there, right? Y all, y all he main evented me, but I took over you, that night. You co-main now, all right? You number two, <laughs> and he number one, all right? And my list. <laughs> Who's number three? But I got the. But ring. listen, but Devin, but Devin, it is my number three. My number three right now. Um, but then everybody started to say, "Why don't you have Matias in the top three? Because none of us did. Mm -hmm. And it was like, "Where Roly? No." We gonna and we probably, probably got a title. We gonna we gonna circle back. No, to got circle back to no, you know what's so sad though? Though although he may have a title, ESPN has not updated that ranking for him. No, they're not going. Or did they update it? And he's yeah. just not no ESPN fighter, so they don't. Have but not to. even that. No matter what it is, they yeah. always keep the clause the same. Yeah. No matter who, what champion is under who. Yeah. That's all. So yeah. Matias. So long story short, Matias. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, he has he's strong, and he big. And he's got power. And he could take a shot. But he still, and he can take a shot. So, but that's still one dimensional, oh, 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 right? Oh, oh, is that is that one dimensional or no? Mm -hmm. I think. They're very easy to beat. So so after this fight, I said, well. I like fighters like him. I know you do. Somebody's gonna walk up on you, but that's your rhythm, that's Lunch your style. Food. This dude didn't have it. It's just my man had a great night. My man see food. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you gonna call, if you're going to call me out and then call me a coward. It's not oh, the oh, Cheeto oh, man I, I, on his shorts. It's not yeah. the Cheeto man on his shorts. He called you a coward after the fight? Apparently, yeah. Oh. It's interesting, though, because I actually didn't even watch this fight. Actually, as I was walking in, he had called out my name. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you just heard Tia Fimo. <laughs> I said, who, who the call yeah, out no, you, man? Yeah. <laughs> no, and I was like, hold up, man. It's crazy. Okay. But I get it. You know, I get it. They got to yeah. go out there, get theirs. You know, I got the Ring Magazine at the same time, so yeah. I know. That's always the kingpin of everything. But what do you think about him? You didn't I believe see he's fight, a solid but... dude. He's a solid yeah. fighter. Yeah. Definitely got that grit. Yeah. Um, he definitely shows that he could definitely take uh, uh he can take punches to the head. Yeah. But can he take him to the body? And he's he's but he is a legit light nightmare. After yeah, I see everybody. what the again, weather in the storm, <laughs> it's different kinds of storms out there. You know what yeah. I mean? You got the you got the 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 Florida tropical storm, and then you got the the New York. We just gonna rain all day, and we gonna have some floods. Like he's a tropical storm. Like yeah. he's a nightmare. Oh, Tio say he ain't ready. For give it to him. He ain't ready for a northeaster. Give it to him. Okay. <laughs> he still ain't in my top three. <laughs> still ain't in my top three. But he is. He's a legitimate nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. And you gotta have what you got against him. You gotta have power. You gotta have true. I touched you and I and you felt me touch you kind of power. Mm -hmm. This guy had power, but he's used to that. He's yeah. used to somebody touching him. I'm gonna weather this storm, I'm gonna walk you down, I'm gonna it's, catch up to you. Goes back to what Boo Boo should have done. It's like the amateurs, we was taught like that's how I was taught with the system. You like pop, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop, yeah. pop, pop, yeah. boom. Touch, touch, boom. Touch, touch, yeah. boom, touch, touch, boom. Yeah. So if Boo Boo kind of had done that, I think it would have went a little longer. Yeah. Maybe the same results, but mm -hmm. it would have shown a bit more, um, a bit more wear and tear on Benavides. Yeah, going back on that. But yeah, seeing him and stuff. Yeah, you know he has a belt too, so yeah. he can't say that he's not a nobody. He's the IBF world champion and in my division. Have you been paying attention to him? Uh, to be honest, I've been more paying attention on like what more can I do outside of just my sport, mm -hmm. but then also bringing it back in. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm really mm -hmm. not focused on anyone. My biggest test is myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as long as I'm happy and my mind is straight yeah. my, and I'm focused like always, yeah, yeah, this he'll probably go out in four. Um, yeah. Well, we're going to circle, we're going we gonna, to we gonna circle back uh, around. Uh, Especially, hey, hey, I caught that. Hey, 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 from, a, from a guy outside looking in, he's a very entertaining fighter for, the, uh, for fans to watch. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't mean to that. take him. No, 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 you know, no, no, well, I know, I know. You're a competitor. It's, co it's competition it's, and currency. Yeah, it's competitor. I'm just saying for my side. Yeah, yeah. Every time, once in a while, I see Sean get hyped up. I'm like, Sean, you retired. Come main event. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. That's why I wanted to bring up. Uh, you know, I want to give credit to Charlo, man, because I counted him out. I mean, I, I was worried about him, kind of like I was worried about you going yeah. into your fight, man. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna ask you two guys. How is the mental more important than the physical in this sport, man? I've I've seen you go through stuff, and you. I'll let you go first. The mental uh, over the what? Just physical, the physical being in shape, being and in all shape. That stuff. No, yeah, mental. Mental. I gotta say mental. I think that as you are already embedded or embedded in boxing, mm-hmm. the physical is always there. It's the mental part that you really need to execute. Okay. And that's your mind. So your mind is very powerful. You know what I mean, literally, we manifest how we want to be. Mm-hmm. And that plays that role, at least in my end, for myself, the mentality is everything. Okay. People used to always ask me, I haven't asked this question in years, but people would ask me before I was a professional, is it more mental or is it more physical? And what's the percentage? And mm-hmm. as it, when I was a young man, I was always trying to find a percentage. Oh, it's 50 50. Oh, it's 40 60. Mm-hmm. I truly did not know the percentage. Yes. But I will tell you now, boxing is 100% mental. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you why. You're blessed. Mm-hmm. You got speed. You're blessed. You got quickness. You're blessed. You got this explosive ability that your dad just showed you how to use. But you were given that. This right here, just like that, you do, you exercise, you get that right. Every fighter forgets that this needs to be exercised too. Mm-hmm. This got to be in shape too. This has to be conditioned just as well as the physical. And guess what? If that go first, that's gonna go. Yeah. That that can go, and you can will yourself through something. Yeah. But if that go, that's done. Yep. So that's why it, the mental is far more important to condition and be and get ready for especially 12 round uh championship fights because that mental would take you through what the physical will not cannot get you through. And also with Charlo last night, uh I felt like when you guys get in that ring, no matter what's going on outside the ring, that's y'all home. That's y'all go y'all y'all know what to do. Yeah. Read and reaction. It's yeah. kind of like that like you don't care about what the hell's going on. No. What happened at home today? What happened down the street? Yeah. Is it's like that when you get in that ring? Yeah, no, it matters because at the end of it all, it's it's you putting everything on the line for those that you love at the same time, mm-hmm. and you know anything can happen. Yes. You know that's really what it is. Anything mm-hmm. can happen. So at that moment, you just gotta tell everybody. I don't care if you don't like each other, whatever. I'm going out there to do that. So if y'all support me, great. If y'all don't, I don't care. I'm yep. still gonna do what I gotta yep. do. Yep. 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 Because uh, at least I know now, especially after the Cambosa situation with my lungs and everything. I know now it's like I can't I can't vent and try to make the fans happy by going out there and putting if I'm not healthy, if I'm not mm-hmm. safe, mm-hmm. then I'm not going I'm not going to. Yeah. Especially now that we have kids involved. Yeah. Heck yeah. I can't yeah. I can't have my son be fatherless. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I've seen that well around many people and they wish they had a father or a figure yeah. like that. Um so my whole thing now is like if I'm putting everything in there, best believe it's gonna be for my little man, but I gotta be hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Um for me. I saw, and I hope you guys follow my tweets last night. I was tweeting throughout the whole fight. I saw the young man, Jamal Charlo, catch his rhythm like around the end of the second round going mm-hmm. into the third round. Mm-hmm. And then I saw him, and I said it to my dad. I said, look at look at Charlo trying to loosen up. Seen the shoulder nice shake stomach. a little bit. Mm-hmm. We I watched early in the first round. You go back and watch the fight. His back leg is completely straight in the first mm-hmm. round. Completely straight. As the fight kept going... That got a little bend in the in the leg, mm-hmm. got got some some ex, explosion off that back foot, and started really trying to fire the jab even more. First round, yeah. second round was just this is what I'm trained to do. I'm just uh-huh. throwing the jab. He actually started finding that speed and the rhythm with the jab and other things moving on. Of course, Jose was there the whole way. Jose is is just tough. Yes. Again, mm-hmm. we and we know like he been what shot in the leg or something yeah. like that, right? Oh, yeah. So physically. He's not 100%, mm-hmm. but he's able to keep up with this man. We know Charlo ain't been in the ring in so long, da 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 But the mental of Jose Benavidez is I'm I'm seeking destroy, I'm kill or be killed. That kind of mentality would get you through. You know what I mean? He I could. think in the second round, I thought he was about to go. Yeah. He was light on his feet, yeah. like in the second mm-hmm. round, and then like the third or the fourth round. I was like, oh, it's about it's about it's a wrap. Well, but man. but he willed himself through is it. Is Jose here to win a belt? Is he here to, to win to the belt? Hear you, they're here to show you how tough he is. I think, I, honestly, I, I think mean, he still would, would, would like a belt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you still would like a belt. You gotta do a little bit belt. more. You do. You gotta do a little bit more where he's at well, and when you get to that level. You gotta also think about it though. When you got a championship belt, you get more of the, more in the pot. Oh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Get more money for yourself. So, yeah, you know, I'm sure Benavides is at the same time trying to, he knows that it's for Charlo. 
He's going out there, mm-hmm. and he changed he changed gears, man. In that mm-hmm. corner, he probably told himself, I'm, "I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. care if you hurting hurting me or hitting me." Because I, I believe in those early rounds, he was yeah. Charlo was hurting him bad, yeah. 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 but he came back, started throwing the flurries. It was this fight. It was, was a great fight. Yeah, I was going to say right, it was yeah, a great fight. this fight is exactly what I thought it was yeah. going to be. It was it was competitive. I think I, that was good to PBC and Showtime. It was a good fight. And we were saying this was 50-50. Yeah, and I think it showed it was. Maybe sixty forty. Yeah, I had right. it. I had it. I had it seven three. I think I might have had a seven three. I stopped scoring at some point, but I think I had a seven three mm-hmm. for I Charlo. That. I see that. Yeah, yep. but it, that's close to fifty fifty. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, at the end of the day, you're right. That's his home. That's where he been for a long yeah. time. And all it took was the number one thing that I was concerned with. If you are a fighter who has not been in the ring in a long time, then the first thing you should do is throw your hands. Yeah. You need to you need to Find number one, range. get going. Get yeah. going. Turn that mm-hmm. engine on and start pushing that gas pedal. And that was the best thing he could have did. He came out firing his jab, not being hesitant, not waiting, not wanting to see what it looked like, not wanting to see what it feel like, but let me take control and start trying to work. Again, Jose there the whole way. But he started working accordingly. Then right around like round three, round four, I said, yo, this kid, it doesn't matter what he's yeah. been through. Like mm-hmm. the kid is, is he's at he can home box. And he know, hey, this is the moment and I got to get through this yeah. moment, you know? Yeah. And he did. Yeah. And he did. He and did. that's and you know that's how life is. Yeah. Life is just like boxing. The that's same moments <laughs> we have in the ring is the same moments some people have outside of the ring. Yeah. And if you if you if you allow it to, that moment will get the best of you, and you'll find yourself taking the knee. That moment will get the best of you, and you'll find yourself on the on the on the in the middle of the ring, or excuse me, in the middle of the round, uh, or in between rounds, like this with your head down. It's yeah. like that's things that I don't condone. You know what I mean? Uh, and you see, like Charlo, you know, he even he got teary, teary yeah, eyed, yeah. and everything yeah. after for the post post fight interview. Yeah, because a lot, it's a lot, man. You know, you know, it's different now, especially after COVID times. It's, it's a whole big different game now. Yeah, especially for the boxing world. So I actually you know, thought he was gonna come go for that? it in the last round. I thought he was going, he was gonna go for the knockout in the last. Yeah, round. it looked like it. Too. Yeah, it looked yeah. like he was going for the stoppage. Yeah, but it's uh, hey, but he did a great job despite being so like outside of the sport for many yeah. years now. Could you could you hear anything that was that they were saying in the in the um in the ring? Uh, not in the a last lot. round. Uh, Last round, I was, uh, curious. I was curious. Last round, <laughs> was Jose, Jose's dad told him to go for it. Uh huh. Just go for it. Uh huh. At this point, just go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That was that was about it. But Charlo, yeah. he told Charlo, keep doing this thing. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie Shields, <laughs> keep doing your thing. Uh, I love this jab. Yeah. Beautiful mm-hmm. placements on jabs. Yeah. Keep doing this thing. Keep boxing. This guy ain't got nothing. He's yeah. just there to be hit. Jab just, was was what, what, what you want what you want I just wish man cuz he would have actually dropped Metamedes at least if he had thrown it instead of over here straight yeah, it was a lot of it was a lot of overs. over just yeah. yeah but like over cuz yeah. when he started actually getting him was the last round he started hitting with the overs you saw it open too on the on that's the side. what I was but yeah. I was saying it from yeah. like the fourth fifth yeah Right hooks, yeah, right yeah, hooks, though, like yeah, over, whatever, yeah. but like it's right there yeah, all day. Because yeah. with fighters like this, all you got to do is come around. And when we talk about being busy, that's one of the things you'll see if you've been busy in the ring. You're able to make that small adjustment, you know? Yeah. So and I don't think we asking too much of him, but at the same time, I don't think that was something that it was possible for him to see just because he hasn't been that, that in part. fight, yeah, that in part, fight position yeah. in so long, you know what I mean? He did great. Yeah. Hell, hell, was, yeah, hell of a job. Just seeing him more productive next year. What, yeah, I was gonna say, what, 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 who, yeah, who, who's, what we do? What's uh, he gonna do? <laughs> Caleb, Andre. Oh, yeah, you Caleb. You got, you got Demetrius. Yeah, Caleb would be a, definitely a good. Uh, yeah. Turn well, I, that that sure. fight makes sense. Too, of course, you yeah, know? the nonsense. Yeah, of course. that fight make a lot of so, sense too. So then maybe it may happen the beginning of the year or the middle of the year. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, but that's definitely something that I'm sure they're talking about. You know, Plant was there watching yeah. the fight. He, so. he said something about Plant. So yeah. he lucky I didn't go down there and slap him in the post fight. Oh, you said that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. post fight. Plant came back and said, that's why I showed up. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> damn. I was like, yeah. Post fight interview, he said that? Yeah, post fight. Uh, po- no, post fight okay. conference. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. got you. I love it, though. I like this, man. This is how we have to keep it the, that's, the Yeah, game. that's how you keep yeah. it going. The, yeah. You need the wrestling part of it. No, you need the fighters to actually interact with one another. Yeah. For sure. You can't have the promoters and managers step in. I always told, uh, we got this guy, Dane, that does our merch. He said, yeah. you know, some fights, like let's say when you fought, I don't know, I got you. When you fought somebody, all of a sudden, uh, when he fought Josh Taylor, who, who's, 
Who who's next? Who who's up in there? Who's who are you talking about? Uh, who for? Yeah, uh, yeah, like when you fought Josh Taylor after the fight, yeah. Ryan Garcia comes down. Oh some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. that's a boxer needs yeah, yeah, some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like when you done talking, to, somebody else music goes on. Like when like when um like when Danny Garcia when he knocked out um uh, uh, what's the voice? No, no, no. Uh, um, the, the one in Gr- Granados? No, 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 no. No, no, not Granados. Brandon Rios? Yeah, Brandon Rios. And oh, then I got in the ring. He slept. Yep. And then he did what? And then I got in the ring. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> stuff like I'm, like, I'm like, who got in the ring? I, 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 did, all, I did all that. Just, <laughs> just to work it out. I knew it was going to go over your head. It's not the name, man. I did all that. I knew it was going to go over your head. You know Naeem Lane with Kevin Hart? Yeah. Uh, comedian? Yeah. yeah. Boxing fans, I love y'all. But this one right here, Man. and we talking to the football fans today, baby. Yeah, you know, former football players right here. I'm a football fan. You used to play football. And I'm a football fan. Oh, uh, uh, and he a football fan, because <laughs> we teamed up with DraftKings, and DraftKings is an official partner with the NFL. So we got a great deal for you guys, a lot like before. You yeah. bet $5, you get? 150 back and bonus bets instantly. Right, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and our promo code. TPWP. Once you do that, you bet $5, you get back? 150 in bonus bets instantly. Instantly. <laughs> and if you already signed up with DraftKings, you know you can get in on a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay or SGP X bet doesn't hit. Max reward limits apply. There it is. And that's how it's done with the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download that bad boy and our promo code TPWP and you know how to do the rest. And want to thank DraftKings for sponsoring this episode. So this week, Sean, we got the Cowboys hosting the Seahawks. Cowboys rolling out. They say it's America's team. Has it ever been your team? No, never been my team. I always hated the Cowboys. Ain't never been my team. And listen, but I'm I a went betting out, man. And I went out and watched the Seahawks beat the Browns. So I know what the Ooh. Seahawks got. They okay. got it. They got a good quarterback. They got a overall. They have a really good team. And um, I think they're gonna challenge the Cowboys in ways that the Cowboys have been challenged since probably midpoint of this yeah. year. Um, Cowboys have been on the roll. Yeah. Uh, Dak has really just found his his groove. Um, the 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 uh, the running back um, down in Cowboys yeah yeah um, the running back the, the I mean just the overall package that they got down there is is really good so I think this is 50 50 game yeah um, obviously yeah if you look at uh, the America's team out there everybody like oh this ain't no 50 50 <laughs> that's because you a Cowboys fan but even if you're not a Cowboys fan you may look at the row uh-huh. the momentum that Cowboys have going into this game but listen. I sat right there and I watched the Seahawks stay sharp, stay consistent, stay the course, and weather the storm. Okay, and that's what you know. That's what the boxing game is all about: weathering the storm. So I think that yeah, the Seahawks are going to see a storm on game night. Um, okay. But I also think it's going to be a really good, competitive, fun game to watch. I do think that uh, at the end of the day, the Cowboys will be leaving that field as winners. Okay, because I was about to say you saying weather the storm. I'm saying Michael Parsons. Coming off the edge. That's the storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to roll with that guy. Yeah. That's my guy. That's so the I, storm right We got there. Cowboys money line that game. Yeah. All right. Sunday night, prime time. We yeah. got uh, no no other than the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Green Bay Packers. Another good game, I think, for for Sunday night, prime okay. time. Um, but what you, what you know about the Chiefs is they are locked in. Yeah. The Chiefs got a lot going on. They got Pat Holmes, Pat. Dynasty Mode, yeah. the new Brady, some would say. Absolutely. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna say. In his own respect. Travis you know? Kelsey, the new Tony Gonzalez. Ooh. Do you know what I you know what I went there? Uh, do I know? Yeah, you do you know? know? Absolutely. I okay, know. I, I was oh, just questioning. I was just, football guy. I was just testing you. And then you got Jordan Love over there at uh, Green Bay. He's supposed to be the the next Aaron Rodgers, the near Breck Favre. What is he looking like? Is he looking like any one he, of those guys? He's too inconsistent. You know Ooh. what I mean? I think that um he while he can he can uh drive the field. He mm-hmm. also has the inconsistencies of, of giving the ball up. And I think that that's gonna be the Achilles heel Sunday night against the Chiefs. You cannot afford to give Patrick Holmes the the ball. Yeah. You give him the ball, you know what he's gonna do with it. And, and who they got Andy Reid. I mean, yeah. this is just this is it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. They, it's not fair, okay, Kansas City. It's not fair. Have you been a victim of Kansas City? Yet? I have been a victim of Kansas City a couple years ago. I think my we all my have. Browns, we we fell short, just short. But I mean, at the end of the day, you have a Patrick Mahomes who has been nothing less than consistent and sharp, game in, game yeah. out. Andy Reid calling the offense. The list goes on. Um, they got weapons everywhere, especially Travis Kelsey going down the middle. Yeah. Um, safe to say, who's gonna win this game? Kansas City Chiefs. All right, we got <laughs> Kansas City money line. Yeah, and you know we got to do Monday Night Football. Monday night we got. 
Cincinnati Bengals, Jake Browning going up against Jacksonville Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence. Evenly matched game. I yeah. think it's going to be a fun game to watch. Neither team is really comp- crazy explosive, but still has weapons on both ends of the game. How you see this one going? Uh, you know, Brown, if Browning's playing, that means Burrow's out. Yeah. So with that is, you know, I got to go with the long hair. Yeah. He got, he got it flowing in the wind. They, they used to call him, I forgot what they called him back in the day. Yeah. But Travis Lawrence, man, I've been watching this kid since Clemson. Sunshine. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sunshine. 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 Yeah. Travis puts up points. Is that the Sunshine State? Yeah, uh, yes, it is. Okay, okay Sean. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, so. I'm a fan. If you can't tell, I'm a fan of Trevor Lawrence. Uh, the I, hair or Travis? Uh, uh, all of it. Okay. All, all right, of it, all right? right. Yeah, I yeah. think he's a, he's a dynamite player. Obviously, you're clear, you know, watched him in college. And mm-hmm. he, he, he brought it in, didn't really translate immediately, but he's mm-hmm. starting to really pick his stride. Find his stride, and um, you know I think he's gonna put some points up against the uh, the Bengals. Yeah, and that for Bengals at full strength, I, obviously I got the one of the best offense in the league. Yeah, with just the Brownie, I mean Burrow back there, the quarterback. But mm-hmm. but this one, you know, it got to roll with the Jaguars. It got to roll with the home team, the Sunshine State. Hey, the, the weather's down there. It's good in Florida. Yeah, it's cold everywhere else. But to go down <laughs> to Florida, you'll get them some good sunshine. Well, listen, I think they're gonna win. It's not gonna be cold. Too cold for them to get yeah. the job done against yeah. the Cincinnati Bengals. So we, I think we both in agreements. Yeah. We look to see the Jacksonville Jaguars take on and take out the Cincinnati Bengals. And this is our DraftKings sponsor segment. We want to thank DraftKings for the partnership. Uh, come on, Nyan. Awesome. Let's get up in here. I hear hundred dollars broker. <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> You know, you know, I got some of my own credits. You don't got to mention Kevin Hart every time you mention me, man. Oh, oh no, I was just making sure he knew who you were. Ah, uh, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what else? What else can I mention you for? <laughs> Y'all know Ant, right? Nah, you know, from, from Sean Porter. Hey, that's what people, <laughs> right. Hey, people do that to me in the airport. They be like, "What's up, Ant? What's your? Hey, I'm like, Sean ain't with me every day, so I get it every day. <laughs> you, you can't tell me you don't get that. What Kevin at? Nah. I don't get that no more. Oh, well, thanks, thanks for bringing me back, though. Oh, you know, I got to keep you humble, man. Hey, Real he, friend. He ain't close enough to Kev to get that. Oh, 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 he'll, oh, he'll sit oh. close enough to Kev to get that. <laughs> hey, hey, that, that, you're right. That's how it is these days. You're absolutely right. That's how it's supposed to be. Listen, yeah. I got to ask you, what was it that made you think that ben, that, that Boo Boo could beat Benavidez? Hey. So, yesterday was very disappointing. Mm. To answer to answer your question, um, I was just picking somebody that I was a fan of instead yeah. of actually, you know, doing the instead of picking with my my mind. I pick with my heart. Sure, sure, sure. Yesterday was was a it was a valiant effort by Andre, but it was disappointing because unfortunately, this kind of taints his whole career. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because this was his first, and he's an older dude. He's thirty five. He, he did go up um, another weight class. He's been he's in the ring last night. He said he went up two weight classes, but he's been at one sixty for a while, so you can't say two. Mm-hmm. He's a second fight at one sixty eight. But this is a guy who we've all said, you know, he's a great boxer, great talent, and he's never had that dancing partner to solidify him as the talent that we expect him to be. You know, the Olympian pedigree, the amateur pedigree. And he finally had it last night, and it was just a disappointing effort. I mean, it was a, it was a valiant effort, but it was a disappointing outcome. So, you know, I, it really just it really messed things up for him. But I thought I picked with my heart instead of my mind. I thought that he would be able to just. I thought he would be able to keep him off of him, but man, Benavidez is tough, bro, and I think he will beat the shit out of Canelo. God uh-huh. damn, that's why. I, I I did an interview yesterday, and I said, man, I don't want to hurt the man's pockets, and I don't think that I'm solely responsible or able to hurt his pockets, but he needs to be looking past Canelo at this point. I think that he is he's he's the he's the he's the new dog or he's not even the new dog, but he's the dog he's the the dog now in the Mexican boxing world. I think everybody has of course revered uh Canelo as long as they have. It's time to let that go. Canelo give him respect because he he deserves all the respect in the world. But if you're talking about uh great Exciting fights to be made in the sport of boxing for Mexicans. Canelo Alvarez, or excuse me, uh, um, David. David Benavidez David. is the guy. The only problem with that is the weight class he's at. It's like, yeah, you can look past him to who? 
He's gonna have to go up to to one seventy five and, and fight the B balls and the better yep. BF yeah. because at one sixty eight, it's really nobody there worth. I mean, David Morrell is coming up, but you know, you got Canelo, and then that's really it. Yeah, I I I think everybody wants to see the David Morrell fight before he moves up. It's too soon for David Morrell. David that David Benavidez is just too much for everybody out. He just he's superior. At 168, and he's superior at a lot of other weight classes as well. Um, I just, I, I, it was so hard for me to even see a way that Boo Boo could win this fight because it takes a lot of energy, and it takes a lot of you being as close to 100% as possible to beat David Benavidez. I just think it's just too much, man. It's, it's speed, power, durability, list goes on. Well, I mean, it's comparable to the situation with, with Crawford and Spence. You know, people expect the Spence to walk through Crawford like that. Man. And, you know, true boxing fans like myself said, nah, it's not gonna happen like Damn. that. So I, I thought that uh <laughs> I thought that he had a, a possible chance, but you know, Caleb Plant did great against him, won almost the first six rounds, and then mm. he just got outworked and, and hurt in the last six rounds. Mm -hmm. So I thought that it could be something like that, and then maybe Boo Boo would have a chance to avoid those big shots in the in the last six rounds, but he tried to beat that dude at his own game. He came out strong. He looked strong. You know, he tried to rough him up a little bit, but youth is really on that on the side of uh, Benavidez. I was disappointed in the post-fight interview, though, by Andre. You know, I just want... I just want a boxer to just be like, yo, man, dude was bigger than me, stronger than me, and better yeah. than me. Yeah. And I lost. Yeah. I think with somebody like he said, well, he wasn't the better better fighter tonight. He just was just he was just he big said, guy. I moved, and I I came moved up, up three weight classes. Yeah, like yeah. look, yeah. man, you gotta just take your ass whooping. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh it's like um like a like a really good tight end against a, a really good middle linebacker. The middle linebacker, mm -hmm. only thing he got to do is shuffle, get to that spot, make the tackle. The tight end, he got to run out. He got to cut left. He got to run out, juke, ju cut, cut in left. He's got so many different moves and things that he can do as an athlete. And so you to the naked eye, it looks like, well, the tight end got a lot more than than the, than the linebacker. That's you know This is going to be a, a really good matchup right here. But the linebacker, all he got to do is get to the spot. And he's that good to make it to the spot. And he makes the tackle every single time. And that's what Boo Boo was trying to say. He's trying to say, I'm the more athletic fighter. I'm the fighter who has, who has more versatility. I'm the better mm -hmm. boxer. True indeed. You may be stylistically the better boxer, but in its essence, you're going, to get some, uh, going up against a linebacker who wanted the best to do it right now, and you can't get past anything he got. Right. And you can't say that. You can say that pre-fight. You can't say that when you just yeah, spit yeah, on the stool yeah, the yeah, ground. yeah. Yeah, and uh, nah, do you feel like he he uh, pressed too much early? I thought he should be more patient. He came out doing a lot. Well, you know, that was the game plan. Yeah. Uh, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Yeah. I felt like he wanted to make his presence felt. He wanted to see it because he kept saying leading up to the fight that I got enough power and pop to keep him off me. So I think he wanted to test his strength. And maybe, you know, let Benavidez know he's not gonna just walk him down, but it wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. He caught he came out, caught on some good body shots. He looked he actually looked better than he's looked in yeah. his last several fights. Mm. When he had I him he, when he had him mm -hmm. spinning and shit, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Remind me a little bit of Sean. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a long <laughs> yeah. night. Yeah. Literally, that's what I said. When he had him spinning, I'm like, it's gonna be a long night for David. But then yeah, it was like but David. Then, and that knockdown was unfortunate because it really was a slip. He was hurt clearly. Right, here we go. I ain't seen no slip. Here we go. I ain't seen no damn slip. Oh, T.O., T.O., you I, seen the slip? I, I ain't seen no slip either, man. man. I got to oh, call I you on that one. He going to send me videos yeah, all week. I'll call you that one. Here we go. God damn it. <laughs> go ahead now. He watched him play. He punched him. And then he was still up and he tripped over his foot. He kind of nudged him. He tripped over his foot. It wasn't a clean knockdown. Did he argue I, the knockdown? Did he argue the knockdown? He, he didn't argue. Case it. closed. <laughs> Case closed. He probably, he probably was happy that he went down because that punch Case hurt. Case closed. <laughs> what about that yeah. moment when uh, the body shot? 
Was that a body shot? Or was that a low blow from Boo Boo? Oh, no, no. That, uh, oh, you talking about when Boo Boo took, yeah. took a minute, right? Yeah, he took a fat minute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was it was low, but it wasn't it, it wasn't, wasn't low enough for, for him. the mouthpiece? For him to need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Veteran moves. Yeah. That's veteran moves. I was, I was like, all right, what we doing here? Yeah, like, y'all ain't even got warmed up yet. It's yeah. too soon for this, you know? All y'all have y'all are y'all are, are three men. Y'all have been grazed in the nuts before and it hurt. Yeah. Don't yeah. try to take away from that man. <laughs> but he didn't get it wasn't that low, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Sometimes a graze will do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I gotta get this dude in the boxing ring. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I gotta get him in the box. Right, so you can punch me in the nuts? No, no, no. no. I, you, you gotta, I gotta, we gotta get in the ring, bro. Right. What's next for you now? I always like to, you know, make sure people know where to look, check you out at. Uh, I'm in Atlanta right now filming, uh, about to do season five of my show. And uh, you can catch me at the Lab Factory in San Diego the 7th through the 9th of December. Okay. Cool. Good deal. Good that's deal. it. That's it for the rest of this year. Don't try to. I want to talk about the Charlo fight too, though. Oh, oh yeah, okay. we just finished, but go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead. Come you on. already you already talked about. Yeah, it? yeah, but you no, good. No. You good. Yeah. So the Charlo fight, man. Uh, you, you know, it's, Jose Benavidez has let me down because I mm. feel like you know he was uh, a really solid opponent when he fought Terence Crawford, which is his first loss, and I expect him to do big, big things after that. I know he had a layoff. I know he got the, the shot to the leg, but he, he didn't do good against Danny Garcia. I expect him to win that. And then I expect him to do better last night, too. But Charlo came out and looked sharp. You know, yes. he was overweight, but he showed that he still got some chops. Um, I would love to see him fight somebody. I mean, y'all think he should stay at 160 or go to 168 because he came in overweight, of course. I know he took the fight kind of late, but what y'all think about that? Well, he looked big at once at whatever weight class that he was at. I think that if he if he's got a, a good mind, good head on his shoulders, and he's working, 160 seems to be, it looks, aesthetically, it looks like the class, the weight class for him. But again, like we don't we don't know. How much eating he's not doing, how much water he's not drinking, all these other nutritional things that are needed to make 160. So, if nutritionally it's not beneficial for him to make 160, going up to 168, he has the size. You know what I mean? And I think the power will translate. I think with this one right here, it just this being his first fight back. I think he was off the mark a couple of times with that right hand, like you said, yep. and then he needed to make an adjustment. That too. At, at some point with that right hand, and he didn't make that adjustment, you know. So I think the power is still there at 168, even though it didn't really show it enough. It showed early in the fight, but it didn't really show it all the way through. So, but I think 168 fits. It, he fits at 168. Yeah, he was off a little bit. Of course, he had ring rust. It's been over two years, but he showed some dog, which which I was happy and and surprised by because you know you just don't know where he's at mentally, and yeah. I said. I said he got it in there because uh, Benavidez looked good all right, in the first few rounds, too. I said, oh, he took a couple punches and knocked some sense back into him. Uh, but then the post-fight interview. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> in the post-fight interview, uh, I was like, oh, no, that boy's still gone. I didn't say this earlier, but I want to say it now. When, when Jamel fought Canelo, he mm -hmm. fought himself out of that fight. And collectively, I think the world felt like he fought Jamal out of that fight. Do you feel like Jamal fought, fought himself into a fight with Canelo Alvarez with his performance last night? I personally well, think that he kind of did. And I think that that was the narrative that we were going to receive all along was Jamel, then Jamal. So I think it's still more than likely going to be the, that's going to be the case. I think um, if Canelo takes that fight, then he's not going to... I mean, you know, Canelo has his stands, so they, they're going to ride him no matter what, just like Floyd had his stands. But I don't think that that's a fight that Canelo should take next. To answer your question, I think that he did have a strong enough effort to say that he's at least going to get in there and compete with Canelo. Uh, will he beat him? I don't know. I don't know about that. But he'll, he'll actually get in there and fight. Yeah, he was fighting last night. Yeah. Like it was that almost turned into a street fight. Yeah, one hundred. Yeah, <laughs> which was like a street fight is not really that far from an actual boxing match. So yeah. I was like, "Yo, let him talk. Like let him yeah. let him do they that, that stuff." Yeah, yeah. yeah no. and I wasn't mad at Harvey. You know, the first yeah. time he tried to stop, but then after a while, my Harvey was just like, "I'm gonna let this go. Let me get out of here. <laughs> I got too crazy, Vinny. Let me get out of here." You know, so.
Hey, now before you leave, who you like to see T.O. at 140? Who you want to see him fight? He right here. I, I know. I see him. Um, I, I mean, are you going to fight again? Or are you going to say you retiring after every fight, man? Uh oh. You know, we, 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 we want you to keep fighting, bro. I don't know. I do you guys... Do you guys still want to like see a four million dollar put you a four million dollar man put you guys to sleep, or what? Oh, you know what you're talking about, right? Of course, I'm talking about Shakur. Four mil. Four mil. Ooh, uh, we didn't we didn't get into Shakur. Oh, yeah, I um, want to see like entertainment, and then pay the man for that entertainment. Well, you know, I, I got that. I, I, I give it all different kind of traits of skills. I mean. Even Andre Ward, someone that's like an analyst, like a perfectionist in boxing, like his IQ is high. He was even the commentator, like he was surprised how I did that jab where it was like a Superman punch to Josh Taylor, a guy that's undisputed yeah. and everything, and just made it look so easy. I bring so many things. I even brought a George Foreman combination now because that's everything. Everything is everything. Like I go back in time because that's where my future is at. Mm -hmm. And... So like for as far as like retirement and stuff, honestly, man, it's up to the networks. It's really up to the networks. Um, I'm at a good position right now. Very honored, like blessed. Um, you know, I have a I have an L in my record. That's cool, but it just shows <laughs> that's that cool. <laughs> that's cool because you know what? At the same time, it showed me that an L doesn't stop me from achieving my goals. Uh -huh. You know, Muhammad Ali mm -hmm. had losses. Mike yeah. Tyson had losses. Yeah. Sean you know Porter had losses. Sean Porter had losses. <laughs> He's like, I don't like talking about that now. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you better, you got to get in the ring with him, man. Yeah. No, oh, no, yeah. no, I'm out, no, I'm out. Just, just, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what I'm trying to say is, like, I think this also helps for this new generation, if you think about it. A lot of these fighters are scared to take these risks sometimes because they don't want to lose. Yeah. Mm because -hmm. you lose, mm -hmm. and you kind of get out the picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but... This ain't the case no more for this year and for this era. Mm -hmm. This ain't it no more. Mm -hmm. We just got to all like bunch it up, fight each other. I felt know? like when people, because people were saying I wasn't afraid to fight anybody and I, they, you weren't. the timing yeah. for me was just perfect and mm -hmm. the way that I was able to, the way my, my career shaped, shook out was just perfect for me yeah. and I was able to get in the ring with everybody and so I was like, I didn't look at myself as oh, I'm starting this trend. But when you started calling out Lomachenko, and then yeah. you got the fight with Lomachenko, and I'm not saying this because you was here. When you got the fight with Loma, I said, we got a new wave coming. We got young guys that's that's not afraid to get in the ring and go up against other elite Early. competition, understanding what I always knew. The money going to be what the money going to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I thought that was going to happen with me, but it don't. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't. But, but I, yeah. I, I, I get it. Offline conversation. Offline conversation. Yeah. But yeah. but no, at the end of the day, yeah, I think that that, that we're coming into a wave now where um, where we're about to see some some a lot of young, you know, elite fighters getting in the ring. Do you even consider, do you consider yourself still like a young fighter or like, you know? Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're seasoned, bro. Yeah. And and I don't Not think Not even in my prime. It, yeah. But yeah, I was going to say like, I don't even think that a loss like determines how much experience you have now or whatever. But I just think that you have been in this game, I think long enough since that fight with Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. And even before that, for me, I'm like, yo, he's getting experiences. Yeah. Once you had a Lomachenko yeah. fight and then a couple other fights went the way that they went, I can look at you now and have a business conversation with you yeah. and you can't look at a lot of young boxers and have an intellectual business conversation that makes sense and goes along with what's reality in the ring. You know what I mean? Well, to take that in, I just got my deal with Nesquik, with Nestle. There you go. And that was through my boxing. You keep Why? pointing at me like so I helped no, and I didn't help. And no, I wish that like, I did because I would be getting some of that. You keep so, pointing at me. Like, <laughs> Santa, so Santa Martin, people laughed about it, but I put out the Willy Wonka card. Oh, the golden ticket, snap. Which is all linked to Nestle. Boom, boom. So you got to think outside the box. Yes, sir. And it's all about the kids at the end of the day. Yes, sir. So yeah. you just got to really work yeah. your your avenue. You got to yeah. know your market, right? Yeah. We all are walking billboard or advertisement. Yeah. So I had only OnlyFans try to offer me six figures. Yeah. I said, no. Yeah. They said, well, why not? We're going to give you more. I said, listen, I can't do that. It's not what I do. <laughs> it's I not what for. I do. OnlyFans yeah. is actually more for like the... The, you know, adult version rather than for the kids. But they changing yeah. stuff, stuff too. Yeah, they're uh -huh. changing they trying to change stuff. their look. But even if they yeah. try to change it, we all know what OnlyFans is for. What comes to our well, mind What first. comes to our mind first. Yeah. And that is, you can't take that away. Yeah. No matter what. And it's like, I don't do it for the money in that sense, what people need to understand. I'm actually trying to do it for more of a generational standpoint of the fighters that are coming behind. Absolutely. 
Yeah. I'm the leader. Yeah. They coming behind. Yeah. I'm helping them. Ain't I'm nobody thought about no Nestle. They no. see you rocking Nestle. It changes the whole mentality of, Imagine let me that. stop trying to go for Nike. Let me stop trying to go yeah. for, let me get w- what who's there. And who's I might bring back help. Coca-Cola. Yeah. And he only oh, drink one shoot. water. Yeah. No. They sent you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Tony Water, he drinks. Hey, nah, but, before no, you, go ahead. Yeah, but nah, before he leaves, now nah, I would like to I see- I still want to know who you want. You want oh. me with Tank? What's up? So, go ahead. So, I think that uh, Haney's going to beat Pro Gray. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Pro that's where I was going. And then I think that um, it only makes sense that y'all fight to unify the, the belts. Yep. That's the only thing that makes sense. And, you know, I hope that you start getting your bag, bro, because you're a talented fighter. Uh, you are you. You definitely top ten talent, and it's oh. unfortunate that everything is about the money these days. Oh, well, I'm off you ten percent. I'm off you twenty five percent. Like, if it's two top fighters and you're fighting for a belt, then it should be the split should be any more any any wider than sixty five thirty five in any bout. I don't care who it is. That's how I feel. I'm and I've been told that before. 55. I think that <laughs> in a big fight. Sometimes it should, if you're so sure that you're going to win, do a 40-40 split and the winner take the other 20. But nobody's going to do that. Everything is about the money. But I, I got I got Haney being pro grace, and then I think y'all should fight after that to unify the title. I got receipts that I try to make the fight happen with me and Haney um, mm. during the time that they had the fall off with pro grace. I told them I got the mm. MSG, got the Madison Square Garden sphere reserved for boxing next year under my name. And I was like, let's make a fight happen. We'll do a Super Bowl weekend. Um, Haney, you know, he's on his high horse right now, especially after that Loma win. So he said, I'm my own boss. I do my own things. You're still linked to certain people. I'm not going to, like, we ain't going to do none of that. And I'm like, I'm trying to talk to you directly, kind of like what Crawford and Spence did. Yeah. Like, we could just yeah. make this fight happen. Yeah. But I believe that it's because of the business side of it. Like you say, him having a world championship title, beating Regis gives him the benefit to like negotiate now a bigger purse, yeah. bigger money. Yeah. And that's the stake that they're always going to go for. Yeah, it's a business yeah, yeah, move. Yeah. And it's sad that it has to go that way, but at the same time, you got to understand that's just how they got to embed it. Yeah. You know, because yeah. if not, him coming up to me with no belt, I get the more more share than he will. Supposed to. As it should be, <laughs> right? Supposed to. It's yeah. supposed to, but we've tried to make fights with Haney before. I mean, he was supposed to meet with Bob Arum at the top rank office on Tuesday a few years back, and they never showed up. So it's like a lot of people are saying this and that. I'm glad um, he didn't show up. Huh? I'm glad he didn't show up. Why not? Because the fight's it's, it's worth more now. It is worth more now. Yeah, it's worth more I mean, now, but it's so. good. I, I want the kid to keep winning. Yeah, that was a good business you know decision saying? for them not to show up. But you know what? It, it's, it's like <laughs> at this point now. <laughs> Yeah. At this point now, it's like we gotta start going for it now. Yeah, yeah you can't just say a whole it. big thing and then not it. not put yeah. it on. Yeah. Now we always appreciate you joining the Portal Podcast, my man. Hey, my pleasure, man. Uh, next time we have you on, man. Hopefully it's in studio. If not, we gonna we probably gonna do. We need to do a whole show with you and really chop. We're supposed to go out there, yeah. and we supposed to well, go out there. Soon, shout out so. to ATL, baby. Oh yeah, I gotta make that announcement oh. too. So, uh, hey, nah, did you ever get our Probably. care package? I did, I did. I got the t-shirt. I was going to say, I some shit, then, so. This yeah, it was a t-shirt and I think like uh, some hoodies or something. I took them to the homeless people oh. downtown LA. What this say? I would, hey, listen. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff. Gotcha, Hold up. I got a whole bunch of stuff that's boxed up. Oh, look at, hey. All right, then. What did he do? I don't know. Hey, we going we gonna to bring man, you some stuff and, and make you wear it. <laughs> All right, man. I got y'all. Catch, Catch y'all on the next one. All right, now. Peace. Please. So that hey, stop, speak, stop, 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 stop. Uh, sp- speaking of merch, <laughs> speaking, speaking of merch, merch yeah, yeah speaking of parents, hey, yeah, yeah, that's about time. You need to get out of here. Uh, I think <laughs> he did what I need, what we needed him to do because he really got into into what, and what that's we what I, I knew he so would that go was there. perfect. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to bringing gifts for Sean Porter, not 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 Ant with two T's. Comes with it, boom, dude. Got you that like Hunter Green kind of. We should both wear that. <laughs> okay, you. okay. You. What is that? What is this merch That's called? Clean right Worldwide there. takeover. We got takeover promotions in the back. Okay, takeover promotions. Yeah. I won't, okay, it won't get done. You gonna Which, sign Sean? Huh? Yeah. Man. <laughs> Actually, you know what, man? There's a lot of movement in the exhibition situation right now. We're not I've doing been that. Been trying to tell him to. Uh, We're not tell, doing that. Tell him the moment, I love see him and Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, what about him and Tim? Not. What about him and Tim? Oh, oh, I would love that's a headbutt waiting. Head that's a headbutt yeah, waiting yeah, yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah. Man, we not oh, doing man. that. We not nah, doing you know? that. But I like that because you know why? Like Sean has his head 
right. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Right now, I'm in a situation at, at 26 now, you know, so many want to push me in and drain exactly. me. And I'm just thinking right. longevity part. Yes, sir. I'm thinking yeah. of the longevity part. Um, going into it, I ain't even thinking about how we could help my stable with top rank and all these guys, all yeah. these other fighters that yeah. are in, under the network of ESPN. Yeah. That being said, I think that we should trans uh, transfer the ESPN guys, everyone that's under the ESPN network, yeah. into the apps. Yeah. So into the Disney Plus app. I think that would be great. Yeah. Uh, who started the apps, really, the streaming apps was Prime Video back in 2006. Mm -hmm. So and in 2007, we got Netflix, and then we also had got a Hulu mm. at the same time. But if you look at it, when Disney, with ESPN... ESPN has this thing where it does the bundle, right? Where you get the yeah, Hulu, yeah, yeah. the Disney Plus, and the ESPN. Yeah. So we already have those three components. Yeah. All we gotta do is just transfer. Because sure. my my thing is that we don't want ESPN to get out for boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, this mm -hmm. actually hurts the fighters that are under the top rank mm -hmm. stable. Yeah. Um, now we're hearing obviously news. I'm sure you guys are not too far from it. Netflix being with doing something with Al Heyman. Yep. Yep. So yeah, so that's been going on. And it's all yes. those things right there <laughs> that I think now we need to convert and find that way. Um, I've been wanting to express that on the platform. Yeah. I'm going to use the portal way. Sure. And the portal way is the, yeah. is the way. So. It, makes, it makes sense, big dog. I mean, like you just said, I mean, I ain't, if you didn't catch it, you got three different entities. Why not merge them and make it one? That way, when, when one person is, is looking at one thing, they can always bounce over and look at something else. And, and I just, I think that... It, it's time now for boxing and boxers to expand. I, I'm like, bro, like hearing that you're doing something with Nestle, that to me is big yeah. because it's so far outside of the spectrum. Fighters don't think outside of the spectrum. A lot of us don't know that we could or should. It took me the whole my whole career for me to, at the end of my career, say, you know what? I'm going to call my own shots and this is what I'm going to do my way, this, blah, 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 blah. And then I started thinking outside of the spectrum. You know yeah. what I mean? So you... I think it should be a situation where you got fighters at Disneyland, yep. having doing doing photo ops and all these other okay. things. Mm -hmm. So what you don't know who the fighters is? I guarantee you, if you got a TV showing highlights of Tiafimo Lopez, yeah. people that don't speak English gonna want to know who Tiafimo Lopez. Perfect is. example. Right. You said do a sign out at uh, Disneyland. Yeah. He gonna get the boxers that know him. Then you gonna get other. I mean, fans that know him. Then other people. No, exactly. that, you the game fight, exactly. uh, fans. You can also mix in the mascots. You can mix in Mickey and, and all of them. You yes. know, the whole family. It sell thing it is and like just sell it out. It's it's, it's it, a, it, I, boxing is what entertainment. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. with that being said, I, I look at that and it's like I don't care about if they take the idea. So many have taken my ideas and ran with it and made money. Um, I'm just trying to help these guys because they don't know how to vent for themselves. They don't yeah. know how to uh, uh, expand their, their brand or whatever. Yeah. Me, I learned that I got to just keep a clean image. Yeah. I can't mm -hmm. be out clubbing every yeah. night. I got yeah. people yeah. offering me last night to go yeah. out clubbing with them. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I don't know what could happen. Yeah. You know, people, trouble's always there. You, you know, want to look last for night? it? They karaoke last night. Oh, you. No, hey, hey, but, no. But hey I, I miss, miss you on that. that. I stay home because of trouble. <laughs> I miss you on that. <laughs> Damn. That's very disrespectful. Yeah. No text Miss you on that. But on the next one, though. On I'm with one. that. You got a spot? Yeah, you want to shout out a spot? Oh, you want, yeah. You want to shout out For, uh, flank, Flankers? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Y'all yeah. in y'all in Vegas. Y'all come out to the Mandalay Bay. Y'all looking for mm. some good food. Flankers right inside the Mandalay Bay. They got um, private karaoke booths. They opened up the big room for us last night. Ooh. They'll take care of y'all. And shout know, out to our guy, Travis. And shout out to Travis, man. Yeah, man. Thank you for rolling out the red carpet for... Sean Porter, the Port Away, and everybody else that came through. Flankers, hell of a restaurant, great food, yeah. great entertainment, TVs, music, the whole nine, great ambiance. That's where you need to be if you're at the Manley Bay, if you're right here in Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that was great. Yeah, that right. being said, no, you ain't even paid for that. No, I didn't pay for that. Dude, <laughs> is there something that. What are you doing? <laughs> he got. Waiting to go home. <laughs> all, right, all right, we got you. We got you. We're going to get out of here in so a minute, We're going to get out of here. Is there anything that I did not ask you, anything that you want to talk about? Who you? Who's next? When? Ooh, I know the offer that they had threw at me, apparently, was with Ryan Garcia. Top top rank? Ryan Garcia fights this weekend. Yeah, I think he should focus on that regardless. I'll be um, there. I know it's in Texas, right? Houston? Yeah, Houston. Yes. Yeah. You go from Houston to LA? Shout out yeah, H-Town. Um, and with that being said... <laughs> I was uh, 
you know, I, I, I declined the offer. Yeah. They try to make a pay-per-view fight. I understand that. And I, and I understand like the how the percentage You declined Ryan there. Garcia? Yeah. Like the just the it wasn't the the all right. It's an offer. But it's not saying like the fight can't happen. Yeah. It's just negotiations. You just decline the offers that they throw at you. Yeah. And then see when they're gonna eventually just say, all right, you know what? It's true. If I got the Madison Square Garden, literally, MSG, the sphere reserved for Teofimo next year. How are you gonna go and hit me with like a, a low state like yeah. that? So, yeah. so is this is it like in a negotiation phase or is it like we just move, we doing different things? I think right now it's just uh, they're using that momentum of the 1.2 million pay per view buys, of course, as leverage. Yeah, and I think it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Excuse my language, yeah. 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 but it's a bunch of BS. Yeah. They helped each other, Ryan and Tank. Yeah, you know, one didn't do the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah despite yeah, yeah. whatever they want to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, however. With that being said, I can't, I can't really trust right now, um, the managers or promoters right now. Who do you think is your is your best dance partner in boxing right now? As a fighter, fight? Yeah, uh, Crawford. All right. Oh, me and Crawford. Because you, you walked up to me yesterday and you said I, I completely. Oh shit. Yeah. You, so you really you uh you are you pursuing that? Uh, if it comes. What do you like about that fight? Like when you you said uh, challenges. I love challenges, yo. Yeah, that's a hell of a how, challenge. Oh, it, it's, I love it. Yeah. But how else am I gonna learn? Yeah. How else am I gonna actually be great? Yeah. And besides, I'm the first male to become two time undisputed. Yeah. yeah Chasing yeah. greatness. So, so that's all it is. Yeah. yeah. It, it really it's nothing about like. I got some in the mouth. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You, just boxing. Yeah. No. It's just boxing. It is what it is. I want to be. Um, it's not even I want to be. I am, and he knows he is. So why not? We're not too far away. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I like about this dude, when it's all said and done, Doc, I already got your title, chasing greatness. Well, the thing is, you you got up in there, you get up, you call out, and you fight everybody. Like people don't understand. Like why is Roberto Duran a great if he lost to all those guys, mm -hmm. so to speak? Well, because he fought all those guys yeah. and gave him a hell of a fight. Yeah, Sean Porter. Yeah. Despite Tommy Hearns. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit happens. Yeah, we, we know. We know. We know. But, no, no, but no. you know what I mean? But that's boxing. That's what yeah. made him. I mean, and you know, that's another thing, though. A lot, like, you see how these promoters, though, like, De La Hoya tried to trick it. De La Hoya said, like, um, that they would get, like, five million in the 90s. They would get, like, five world title defenses mm -hmm. and something like that with five million dollars. Yeah. But we're talking about the 90s, yo, yeah. where yeah. five million was, like, 15. Yeah. Cost you know what I'm saying? What, yeah. what are we talking about? Don't yeah. don't try to stub us. Now it's even worse. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the mm -hmm. ec economy and everything. Gas Ooh. and eight nine cents. It's Yo, gas hours. is not even exactly. So that five million you're talking about, no, it's all cap. Yeah. It's bull. Yeah. It's yeah. bull. And what I'm saying is that this is why. And then I have guys, look, we just sold out. My last fight with Taylor, I know we gotta but last one no. with Taylor, we sold out. Yeah. We no, sold that, out the whole the whole theater. Rocking, bro. But not only did we sell it out. We actually hit the highest gross that's ever been in boxing in that arena. Uh, mm. Highest gross. Uh. So you can't tell me I can't sell. Yeah, See, yeah. but I have these other promoters. Yeah. They get upset because I'm yeah. a promoter myself. Yeah. yeah, It's competition. I get it. But people are going to believe them because of their credentials they've had longer. Yeah. How realistic do you think that fight is with, with Crawford? Me and Crawford? Uh, it depends on his team. Yeah. Um, to be real, my father would love me to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's just who we are. Best attribute going into that fight for yourself. Like, for you myself, think? yeah, best thing um, for you. I get to test myself again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. I love to see how much more can I go. Yeah, what else can I do? Yeah, especially with Crawford, I'm gonna learn some new shit. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Excuse the language, but yeah. you know, if I learn this just from doing with Taylor the camp, yeah, well, I'm gonna learn some more things yeah. that are gonna help me benefit for that fight. And the Ryan Garcia fight and negotiation. I just don't want to be that they're guy. They're treating that... you like the B side. Yeah, of course they have to. That's and if the, you know boxing, you're yeah, not the B side. Yeah, but the thing is that they're gonna go off for the 1.2 million oh, pay per views. Oh, oh, oh. How do you feel? Can I ask one last thing though? Yeah. The 66 thousand pay per view buys that happened for the Tyson Fury and Gano. Do you believe that? I, I don't. The I don't what? Really the 66 thousand. They only had 66 thousand pay per view apparently. Yeah. I don't know. Sixty six. That's a good question. Well, no, that's a good answer. I, don't I can know. I can imagine that. Reason being is because that that fight wasn't well promoted. Are you sure? I felt like it wasn't. Netflix had uh, Tyson Fury on the Furies. Okay, well then should, I'm wrong. It should be. Yeah. I look at. I really go into the intel. Like the thing is yeah. though, I'm gonna tell you, Sean, champ. The reason why. Um, I'm getting like blasphemy for this stuff. You're 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 a problem. You're doing stuff that because Sean and them the moment. Do. Because the moment Sean wanted to, for him, he felt like it was too late. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to do is take that and take it right now so we can have the upper hand. And it's not, it's like, why should we have more Don Kings in this world? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don King was the root that helped all these promoters and managers. So, gave him insight, gave him many, many codes. My thing is like, I'm my own man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my whole thing is like, I understand it's a business. I'm a business, mm-hmm. I'm a businessman. Like, I understand it comes with the business. However, no. you cannot for one mm-hmm. second think that you could get more out of me if I'm going out there risking it all mm-hmm. so that everyone else could have a nice, good white Christmas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it can't work that way. But the thing is that they don't see us athletes or fighters or just combat in general as the guys that should be talking to the suit and ties. Yeah, just go get that money. Just go get that money for us. And if you look at it, T.O. We're a model. That's yeah. it. We're like, uh, we get pimped. What, what, what promoter... I ain't getting pimped, pro- though. What promoter's Jeez. son boxes? What promoter son boxes? No, no. No. Why would I do that? Shoot. Well, <laughs> I will. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. No, I get it. But you know, son, you got to understand the system. You got to also know your your people that you're working with. See, yeah. I learned that... Um, I learned one thing, that despite Top Rank oh. and ESPN, I learned the guy that really holds that title is Mickey. Hold on. Hold on. Top Rank ESPN. Okay. Yeah. I learned that it's oh, Mickey Mouse. I learned it's Walter Elias Disney. So that's and who you going to? That's who I've been going to. How you think I get these Nestle deals? Okay. Sweet, man. I'm happy to hear that for you, man. But my thing is not, it's not for me, guys. Yeah. I'm trying to bring that now into the boxing Show world. Show everybody else. So that way they are able to follow in. Yeah. But all I tell them is like, don't do no holy fans. Don't yeah. do none of that because the higher people out there, the yeah. chairman, image. the image is everything. If you're not, it's like they say about money. Um, you have to look attracted to money. Mm-hmm. You can't go for money. If you chase money, it always run faster, right? So you got to look attractive. How do you look attractive? Keep yourself out the streets. You get yourself an SP suits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your services suit. That's what. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I Shout them out too. Yeah. <laughs> Tio, man, do, thanks for joining us, bro. Always. I do suits. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Oh, I need. Them. Listen, um, before hey, we close, can we get this anywhere? The merch. Um, right now, these are actually prototypes. I actually wanted to test them out, see okay. how you feel about them, and then I'm gonna launch that out actually uh, before Christmas. Crazy, ain't do big man sizes. No, I got two XL. Oh, okay, you just didn't bring one because I'm a tank fan. Yeah, you can right, be a so tank listen. fan. So, so here, let me do this motivation. Then we, then we up out of here. Um, I forgot to do that. Do I? Should I do that? Like cut to the commercial? No. 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 Right. There you guys have it though. Teal Fimo in the flesh, yeah. man. Yeah. The port away. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the two time, yeah. two time divisional yeah. champion right there, oh. man. The man that has beaten to me in my eyes just by going in the ring. Yeah, He's man. the man of the forty seven yeah. division. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. And. Uh, Go ahead, keep going, we have keep history. Going. Yeah, the we fact do. that we ain't you, talking about our history, but we have history. We've have history. Yeah. He even let me. He even gave me the opportunity to spar with him. Okay. Back when he was getting ready for Keith Thurman. Yeah. At the Barclays Center. You're the reason so, why he lost. No, nah, no, nah, what? <laughs> he said far what? from it. <laughs> he, he said far from it. <laughs> Hey, listen, real quick. Motivational. Hold on, Pooh Bear. Hold on. Motivational message. <laughs> he over. It. Yeah, no, I don't blame him. Motivational message. Then we out of here. Okay. All right, so listen. You done? <laughs> hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just to see. Listen, so I, I had um, the opportunity to have breakfast yesterday with, with Mr. Jim Lampley. Uh, I call him Lamps. He told me I can call him Lamps. So. Oh, must be nice. Um, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had the opportunity. Hold on. You got to sit up. Yep. To have uh, breakfast with, with Mr. Jim Lampley, Lamps. And uh, we sat there, my dad and I and him, we sat there for about two hours talking, of course, listening to all of his stories and things like that. And I mean, he's it, 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 picture perfect how, how I wanted the breakfast to be. And I'll tell you, I like to listen to people talk. I like to hear stories. He's a storyteller. Mm-hmm. And when we sit down, I said, Jim, so I just, you know, I just really just want to, you know, listen to you tell some stories. And he said, oh, we're going to do that. <laughs> and I mean, just goes right into it, like, and goes as far back as the early 1940s and things like that, Dang, with, oh. with like, just the story of himself and all that kind of stuff. But look, listen, this is the motivational message that I got, and then, and then we're going to leave, y'all. Um, he told the story of how he got into boxing. Hold on, Pooh Bear, hold on. He, got, he told the story of how he got into boxing. He lost his father when he was five years old. Oh, wow. A boxing match comes on TV. I don't know what boxing match it was. His mother... Hold on, hold on. His mother takes him to the living room. He's at that. He said they had a big party at the house, and the mom took him at five years old, passed the whole party, passed everybody that's there, 
and sat him in the living room by himself in front of the TV and said, you're going to watch this boxing match because if your father was here, you will watch. He would, this is what he would be doing. Wow. And so basically the mom took over and raised her son and son and, and the rest of them and did everything that should have been done. The point of, of that story is foundation, y'all. What is your foundation? If the foundation ain't strong, these ones right here ain't going to be strong. We need a strong foundation. Mm -hmm. It starts at the top and then it goes its way down. The foundation has to be strong from the bottom to the top. And that's how you get to the top. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, I got to the top and now I'm trying to do the best I can with these right here. Set the firm foundation so that, uh, you know, they will be even better than me. You know, so the that's foundation is, is what's the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. And the foundation is the family, strong family, strong life. This is the portal way.